It's our 2016 NFL Division Preview. Today's edition, the NFC North. Hey, I'm Bill. He's Todd. We're from FootballNation.com, continuing our division previews for the 2016 NFL season. Todd, we did the NFC East. Today, we're taking a look at the NFC North. Bill, I think this division's pretty cut and dry. I don't know if you agree. I have the Packers restoring order and rising back to the top of this division. I see them going 11-5. and five. I just think that they're just the strongest team in this division. They had a down year last year, and I see them uh, clear-cut best team in the division. I agree with you. I think it's a bounce back year. You know, I think it's it's a weird, it's kind of weird with the Packers, right? Because I, I agree, it seemed like they had a down year in 2015, but you know what? They still won 10 games, and this is a team that had some injuries. I think they got healthy, and I'm, I'm going to give them a 12 and four record. Definitely the top uh, of the NFC North for 2016. Let's look look at the Vikings, Todd. They won this division last year. Where do you see them uh, coming in for this year? Well, Bill, we talked about them in one of our other videos, the over-under video, and the Vegas over-under for the Vikes was nine and a half. I'm taking the under just a little bit under. I'm going to have them finishing nine and seven. I just think the first place schedule this year is going to be a little tougher than what they had to do with deal with last year. And, you know, I think that they probably overachieved a little bit last year. Still a strong team. I like Teddy Bridgewater, but I see them going nine and seven. I'm with you at nine and seven. Um, I'm going to take the under as well on that nine and a half uh, win total from Vegas. You know, their defense is still good. And we know they have a good running game with Adrian Peterson. So that should keep them in the running for maybe a wild card spot in the NFC. But I don't think they'll be uh, able to overtake the Packers for the division title. Up next, we both have the Chicago Bears. Todd, this is a division, the NFC North. They play the NFC East and the AFC South. Not exactly a tough schedule when you look at their overall um, teams that they're playing. So the Chicago Bears, you kind of think they're going to improve in 2016. Well, they went 6-10 and 10 last year, Bill. Again, they're going to have a last place schedule this year. You mentioned also the ease of the you know divisions they're going to be playing. I see them finishing 500, 8-8. Eight and eight. Last year, Bill, it was very strange. They were 1-7 and seven at home. It's awful. I don't see that happening again. I think they're going to rebound a little bit. Four of their last six games are at home this year. I think them, I think they'll finish strong and, you know, finish 500. I think they're going to go a little bit less than 500. I, in fact, I think they're going to have the same record as they did last year, 6-10. and 10. And the reason being is Jay Cutler is about to have his sixth offensive coordinator in the last eight seasons. That's a lot of playbooks to keep up with. Let's go to the bottom of the barrel, the bottom of the division, the Detroit Lions. We know they lost Calvin Johnson. To retirement, I have them going four and twelve. Todd, how about you? I'm going to go with six and ten. I do think they'll finish last in the division. It's easy to pick the Lions last in the division. Yeah. The tough bookends of the schedule, Bill, was what caught my attention. Three of their first four games are on the road, and then they, their final three games of the year at the Giants, at the Cowboys, and playing the Packers at home. I don't like the bookends. Six and ten, I think, is about the top that they can do. Would you be surprised if Jim Caldwell is one of the first court, uh, head coaches to get fired in the middle of the season? Not at all. No, of course. <laughs> you know, uh, his head's going to be on the chopping block unless they can turn it around. You know, they were 7-9 and nine last year, Bill, so I think they'll be one game worse than last year. I don't think they're going to be terrible. I think they'll rely a little bit more on the running game that they have in past years, but still, it won't be good enough. Give us your breakdown. Rank them. All the teams from the NFC North in the comments below right on footballnation.com. Thank you